Hi guys, in today's how-to video, we're gonna review the third part on how to improve your shooting flow. Before I explain the third principle in this uh, new series, I want to do a very quick review on the previous uh, how-to videos on how to improve your shooting flow 1 and 2. In the first uh, video, I explained uh, three basic uh, principles, the first of which was shoot targets from the near to the far and from the bottom upwards. The second principle was for right-handed shooters to shoot uh, clockwise and for left-handed shooters to shoot counterclockwise. Third principle was to shoot as much as you can uh, target and target arrays on a horizontal line. In the second uh, how to improve your shooting flow video, we added three more basic principles. The first was keep moving as much as you can. Don't stop and if you need to stop, limit the total number of stops on a particular stage. And the third principle in the second series was if you see a target, shoot the target. Those were the six basic principles that I explained in detail in my previous two how to improve your shooting flow videos. In this video, I want to add another important basic principle that revolves around merging or blending different shooting positions. If we merge or blend uh, different shooting positions, that uh, implies that we will have to cover less distances and hear it also saving important time on a particular stage. The process I uh, recommend is a three-step process to uh, merge different po uh, shooting positions together. The first step in the process is to identify any mandatory shooting positions. Uh, most of them will be uh, clearly explained in the written uh, stage briefing. The second step is to identify all the optional shooting positions to engage any and all targets and targets arrays on the stage. And the third step uh, is the merging of the mandatory and or the optional shooting positions together in a limited number of merged shooting positions. Here it uh, limiting the number of stops and also saving dist on distance and in time. Uh, obviously, there is a, an important point of attention on a couple of trade-offs that um, we'll have to make if we merge shooting positions together. The first is that we will be required to engage more target arrays and targets on the move, uh, moving uh, forwards, backwards, to the left and to the right. Um, we'll have to cover longer distances from uh, our shooting position to the targets or the target arrays and we will be shooting in uh, more difficult low and or awkward angles to make sure that we see and are enabled to shoot the different target arrays on the stage obviously um, as with uh, most of the things that we do in IPSC and USPSA, there's always a risk uh, benefit or risk reward analysis that uh, needs to be made, uh, certainly if we are considering to merging uh, different shooting positions. Uh, here it also indicating that it's very, very individual and, and very much based on your own individual skill and comfort level at uh, that particular time, at uh, that particular location, for that particular stage. So just copy pasting what other shooters are doing is not recommended. This is a very individual choice that you have to make. I've actually added a uh, random sample medium course to visualize and explain the three-step uh, process to merge shooting positions together to improve your shooting flow. The first step in the process was to identify any and all um, mandatory shooting positions. Now for this particular stage, there's actually only one mandatory shooting position and that's the one here in the corner at the starting uh, position where we have to start outside of the shooting area and then have to step in to engage the targets on our left hand side. On how to engage them, I refer to the, the two other videos that explain how you need to engage the, the set of targets here on the left hand side. This is our uh, only mandatory shooting position. 
The second step in the process was to identify um, all optional shooting positions. And on this stage, there are actually five optional shooting positions from where you can engage the different target arrays. Now, um, if we um, count them all up together, we have a total of six uh, shooting positions. You oftentimes see uh, new and beginner shooters actually identify um, and, and go through the process up to that point. And then as soon as the beep goes off, they will actually uh, head for all these different shooting positions to engage the targets. Hence also um, covering a lot of distance and, and losing a lot of time uh, in transition from moving from one uh, shooting position to another. Uh, the third step of uh, the process that I explained earlier was uh, looking at options to merge the mandatory and the optional shooting positions together as much as we can to limit the overall number of shooting positions that we have to cover on the stage to limit the distance that we have to cover and also gaining the time because we don't have to um, cover these distances. So let us take a look. Are there different options to merge mandatory and or optional shooting positions together on this stage? From the mandatory position, there's not much we can do, um, particularly due to the positioning of the different uh, barricades. So let us take a look at the different optional shooting positions. And here I do see a couple of options. And the first is to merge optional shooting position one and two together in the merged shooting position one, whereby we will engage uh, the first set of targets on our left hand side. And here again is one of the trade offs that we're going to have to do is you have to select the exact position from where you can actually see the different uh, targets, even if you have to shift um, your point of view using your legs and especially your knees and or get a little lower and will have to engage the targets from further away than from the original uh, optional shooting position. So this is the first merged shooting position where we can combine two optional ones into ones already saving on one particular um, shooting position. And then from here, again, I refer to the two other um, videos on how to engage these targets and also how to exit from this position while engaging um, the target on the left and or on the right is uh, let us take a look if we can um, merge or blend shooting positions together here with the remainder um, optional shooting positions and i think we can actually merge optional shooting position three together with optional shooting position four and to a lesser degree already optional shooting position five, which I'll explain uh, later on. So if we move from the merge shooting position one to merge shooting position two, we again save on at least one shooting position. And here again, um, from here, if we select our position uh, correctly in our walkthrough, so we know exactly where we need to hit the spot to see and then shoot the paper targets on the left and then transition over to engage the uh, large poppers on the right hand side we again merged two positions into one and then here because of the uh, the short distance i would say maybe a drag step or uh, two shuffle steps to actually engage the final target on the right hand side so if we do this correctly we actually go from six potential six shooting positions to actually two three and a half so we almost cut the total number of shooting positions in half especially if we um, consider this to be in theory half a, uh, a shooting position so three and a half shooting positions that we have to cover and look at the distance that we have to cover to engage all targets on this particular stage and if you do this and if you employ this uh, process correctly this will um, gain you a lot of time on a stage again 
understanding that you have to make um, a couple of trade-offs and you have to sh to also dry and live fire differently do engage these um, these target arrays from longer distances from um, more awkward uh, shooting positions and or more on the move this is how you can improve your shooting flow to improve your overall performance.